Hello everybody, I am Brett Spricks, and this are Lego Transformers, Dogfight, and Barrel Roll. As you can see quite clearly, Barrel Roll is a sop with camel. A big sop with camel. But when I say big, it is actually almost perfectly size accurate. You see with the sop with camel, it is a little biplane from World War I and World War II. More like World War II, but still. It has a fully rotating propeller, landing gear that don't go away, but then again, the sop with camels didn't go away either. A long back tail, you see little wings in the back, and he's got the iconic four-winged design that the sop with camel and any other biplane were so famous for. The propeller spins very well, but it also, if you push in, will lock, making it unable to spin. Oops, there goes the minifigure. Every other video, it's tradition at this point. Oh, there it goes again. Let's take him off. Anyways, that's barrel roll, but then you'll see he actually has a little friend. Dogfight. Dogfight is a term used in military often to explain two airplanes, like, battling of different armies. You know, like, airplane versus airplane combat. This is actually Barrel Roll's headmaster. I knew as soon as I started this team, I wanted there to be a headmaster, at least somewhere in the group. And I decided Barrel Roll would be a great ex one. See, on the back... He does have little red, that's where the eye of dogfight, of barrel roll comes in. Um, for the design of the headmaster, he is very small. See, he does have little hands, and he does have these little feet, and his legs do move in and out, as expected for being a headmaster. He stands very well. Something kind of cool is if I go like this and look over, you will see in here... Oh, this part is very loose. I need it to... You can't really see. It's too dark. But in here, there is a gap. So, you can actually take Dogfight and stick them in to drive. So now, the two of them can stick together. You see his legs kind of go like weird when I need to put them in. But if you set him in a sitting position, then he can go in better. There we go. That spot is also useful because I can also take a minifigure and also put him in there. As I've explained in any other video I've done, I find it very important to make these vehicles, minifigures, accurate. So now that a person can drive, this looks complete. This part's driving me nuts. It doesn't like to stay together. Anyways, that's about all there is to say about airplane mode. Let's get into some comparisons. Here are some comparisons. As you can see, my team is kind of taking up a lot of space on my little recording area. It's because the team is starting to get pretty big. For some dice comparisons, here's the little headmaster next to the motorcycle. The headmaster is tiny. It's even smaller than a minifigure, height-wise. Here is the headmaster next to Henry, the Model T. Here he is next to Roadburn. About as tall as Roadburn. And that's about it for the Headmaster. The airplane is obviously the biggest of the ones we've seen so you guys have seen so far. For like a here's a cool looking progression. Oops, you can see the edge of my recording area. Let's just move that. Oh. Guess I'm too far away. <laughs> anyway. See, they look, I think it's really cool to look at them from this angle because you can just see all of them slowly get bigger and bigger. My finger's in the way. Here they are. Just going to move over. So yeah, this guy is pretty cool. I just have to say Barrel Roll and Dogfighter, definitely one of my favorites of the team. But as you guys know, he's not just an airplane. So let's get... to transformation. To transform Dogfight, he is probably one of the simplest transformers of the whole team, 
if not the simplest. To transform them, I'm just going to move this guy out of the way. The first thing you need to do is take these spokes, oops, and separate them like that. Then fold these down just like that. From there, you can take these. These actually end up being the hands and folding them up. I wonder if you can already see how this is going to go. I'm going to go over here and take out the headmaster. You can take it from here, take this, and split it and fold it all the way around. This fills in the torso. I like to lock in the propeller so it doesn't spin and get all annoying. Oops. Then from there, take these and fold them down. Big surprise, these are the legs. From there, this parts actually fold around and become the heel spurs. That way he can stand pretty easy, actually. Setting him down and pushing him back. You see, he's looking pretty good so far, I'd say. From there, this part comes and you split it just like that, completely giving that go from airplane to robot look from there all that's left is this headmaster all you got to do is flip them upside down rotate these legs around and fold this down straighten out a little bit and here you have the head i'd say this is a pretty cool head um i like the red visor it's the only red on the whole guy so i think it just adds a cool like pop out look to it and simply from there, you just come in here and you peg them into that one stud you can see right there. I like to pose them a little bit. And here you have Lego Transformers, Dogfight, and Barrel Roll in their robot mode. Dogfight has a pretty cool, I mean not Dogfight, Barrel Roll and dogfight both, I guess, have a pretty cool dynamic, I'd say, in their robot mode. You see, he actually is quite poseable, despite his kind of blocky look. He's a little bit thicker, I guess you could say, than the rest of his members. A little bit heavyweight, I guess you could say. Straightening him out. He has a very lanky look. Kind of a bigger torso, but a very skinny legs and arms. Because they just make up the wings. Picking him up, because this guy is actually quite tall. You'll see, next to a minifigure, he towers. He's... I like to think of this guy as the scientist of the team. He actually does a lot of healing, which is an ironic thing, because when I think this guy, dogfight, barrel roll, names like that, I imagine these two doing tricks in the sky. Big outrageous stunts that always could get themselves killed. Things that you would honestly end up going to the hospital for. Which is ironic because, well, he's the doctor. You'd think he'd know better than to do all those things. And yet, here he is. And he has a lot of battle scars due to all this. Something about him I'm not too keen on are how split apart his legs are. Um, there is a way to fix that. You can take off this um, landing gear and his legs will look a lot more close together and... A little more better posture but i'm not a big fan of take apart formers so i'm kind of i leave them on despite it looking a little strange anyways here's some comparisons if you look at him from the side he no longer looks lanky he actually looks pretty thick and fat from the back he looks lanky again from the side he looks the fat again from the front he looks thin again um i lock the propeller in so it doesn't spin because I don't like the idea of it spinning while he's just walking around. But if you want, you can unlock it and it will continue to spin. For articulation, let me shut the camera down and move this guy all the way back. Move the camera a little bit. You'll see his legs are on those mixel ball joints so they can go all the way in and out, all the way forward and back. Same with the arms. Oh, you still can't really see that. Um, arms go all the way up and forward. They can rotate 360 degrees. They move up and down. He kind of has like a shrug all the time. Uh, don't need to do that. And then 
yeah, my favorite poses to get him in are kind of like this type of thing. Like he just landed and he has to strike a pose because I like to think of this guy as kind of a diva. Let's get on to some more comparisons. Here he is next to other members in their vehicle modes. And here he is with his partners in robot mode. He looks awesome, I think. I love seeing these four all next to one another. And you guys haven't even seen the whole team yet. There's still two more to go. But I like how this guy's a lot taller than the rest of them, which kind of makes sense considering he has a whole airplane. But I don't know. It's just this guy is a lot. Is, this guy is pretty tall, so he's a little shorter than this guy. He's a lot shorter than all, and she's the shortest of them all, obviously. So I need this camera back down. I just love posing these four, making them look epic on my display shelf I have. Anyways, I'd say this is coming close to an end. So let's end the video here. This has been Brett's Bricks. Tune in for the next video where we will be covering the second last member of my team. Spoiler alert, it's a triple changer. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. This has been Brett's Bricks. See you in the next video.